John Carlos, and I'm here at San Diego Comic Con 2014 at the Kurukia booth where I just got the Psylocke con exclusive version of the Bushujo figure. So let's go check this out. I love when Koto stuff is wrapped in paper. Because it makes it feel like Christmas. So here's a look at the uh, packaging for this con exclusive. It's the same as the regular one, but it's got that sticker at the top. Now this version of Psylocke is the version that I'm used to when I first started reading X-Men comics in the 90s with her psychic knife. So I like that this con exclusive version comes with like a psi energy field that wraps around her arm and sword. It was very easy to put on. Now there are a lot of differences between this version and the original Black X-Force version. Uh, the main difference being that everything that was black in her original outfit is now blue. But also her belt was white and now this one is red. And even her katana, the uh, little side sections of it, the little red diamonds in the middle, the original ones, they were white. Um, the biggest change though that I like for the better besides the blue is that her hair is more purple in this version. Uh, so now let's go in for a closer look at the face work being done here because as usual with Kodo, the paint job is just excellent. Just the, the paint on her eyes, the quality of like the eyebrow, and the consistency between everything Kodo does. I've never seen a bad Kodo paint job yet. Um, while we're looking at this, we'll take a closer look at her hair and how the uh, purple kind of becomes, you know, a little lighter, almost translucent, but definitely like a lighter shade of purple the further away you get from the base. So it's darker and more dense at the top of the head and then lighter as you get out to the end of the roots. Here's a look at the backside of her psychic energy field as it goes down along her arm. And another thing that Kotobukiya does very well is they paint the shading of skin very well. You can see the contours of her muscles there. As it dips in, they paint the shade within there. I think that is awesome. They also do a really good job with the fabric and the way fabric actually responds to things. I like the fact that the fabric appears to be tight on her thigh so it kind of pinches and the meat of her thigh pokes through in between the, the strips here the way it would on thigh skin, so that's cool. Um, also, one thing they did about the fabric, not to be crass and look at her butt, but I do like the fact that they sculpted a wrinkle in the fabric there. Uh, same thing goes for like her, the bottom of her feet and that uh, little piece of fabric around her thigh. It all wrinkles the way fabric should, uh, so I think that's awesome. Another thing they pay attention to, aside from like the shading of the muscle contours, which you can see here, is they uh, focus on the shading of the fabric too. If you could see here, uh, where the skin presses up against her body more, it's lighter, and then when there's a gap where it's not up against the skin, it's darker. There's shade within the breast area and the stomach. You can even see it on the thigh area here, where it's a little tighter in the middle, it's lighter. I think those little details, that amount of shading that Kodo does with their painting, they're amazing at paint shading, I think. Also sculpting. I love the way this little, uh, little sash is blowing in the wind. I love the way they sculpted her hair blowing in the wind. I especially like whenever they include one of these top hair wispy things. I think it just looks awesome. I think this turned out really, really great. Here she is next to the original regular Black X4 Psylocke. And as much as I like this one, I like it a lot, I like this one a lot better. Um, they both have a very dynamic pose as far as the sculpt goes. It's very like action oriented. I like it. I dig the base. But what I really dig is the color scheme. This is my preferred version of Psylocke as far as her costume colors with the uh, you know psychic energy, the purpler hair. Overall, I just think this turned out great. I'm really happy that Kodo made this as a con exclusive because I like this so much. I wish this was the original release. Thanks for watching.